My name is Ilmar Ritbaler, and uh, I'm the mayor of the city of Malmö, Sweden. My profession is an architect, I've been working like that for 16 years, but now I've been a mayor for 18 years. And uh, I'm working with uh, the subject of making Malmö a sustainable city. And uh, of course, one of the most important parts is how are we using the energy? In what way are we consuming it? In what way are we producing it? In the way of producing it, we are trying to get over to much more solar energy. That means that we're using wind energy, photovoltaic much more, and of course using the energy that, that we can gain out of the organic waste and the combustible waste that we have. Every person can make their efforts also. Uh, that means that uh, that's the way that you are using uh, the daily life. Are you commuting by bike or are you using the private car? Uh, the house, we are measuring how much electricity you are using. That is measured for every hour, so you yourself can see when you're using very much energy or when you're using less energy. And we are trying also to put in the smart grid system. That means that you can use your washing machine during night time when the energy cost is lower and not using in the peak hours. That means also that we are measuring how much heat water you are using for bathrooms, how much you are using for washing like that. So you yourself can also make an effort to lower your consumption of energy, of course. But of course it's very important also in what way the city is producing the energy. We are trying to get uh, big wind parks. Uh, we have today the third biggest wind park in the world that's offshore based, where we are producing about 150 megawatt. You know, in my city we closed down our two nuclear stations. We had nuclear stations that we closed down, one in 2002 and one in 2005, and they produced about 1,000 megawatts, so it's quite tough for us to, to change out that out to other ways of producing electricity. But today we are on a good way to manage that, and we see that the city will be carbon dioxide neutral the year 2030, the whole of the city. 2020, the operations of the city itself should be carbon dioxide neutral. We have already built some new department areas, some new neighborhood units that already are carbon dioxide neutral. Western Harbor is one very good example. Today there is about uh, 4,000 people living there and we are using the aquifer storage. That means that we are collecting the summer heat in the solar panels on the roof of the houses and the walls of the houses. And this heat water, that's pumped down into the aquifer, 70 meters below, in the cracked limestone. There the summer water is preserved. There we preserve that summer water. That we pump up in the winter and use that as district heating for all our houses. And uh, the pump is, of course, fueled by a, by a wind generator in the winter. Then we pump down the very cold winter water in cold wells. And that cold water we pump up in the summer. And that we use for district cooling in the houses. And that way we don't need any AC and things like that that is uh, using a lot of electricity. So in this way we try to make an organization for the city where we, that where we have an infrastructure where it's easy for the, for the citizen to, to live a life that is much more sustainable and then everybody themselves feel that they can contribute also because on the long run it's up to you yourself. How are you living your life? In what way are you transporting yourself? What sort of food are you buying and, and how are you using the food? And how much are produced to go into to waste? That is important things and most of all see that the young people understand, that they understand the sustainability, that they know how to live their lives so they can make their part of making the world a better world, see that we can hinder the world to be four or five degrees warmer in 100 years. That's uh, how we are using the planet in a more sound way. And I hope that other cities will follow our, our example. Then we can see that we can avoid all that, that things that will happen with the a, with a hard rain and the things that will happen with the with global warming. And uh, this is the message that we want to send to other cities. Thank you for your attention.